Unit Eight, Money, Recording One. One. Cash. Two. Notes. Three. Coins. Four. Invested in. Five. Bills. Six. Possessions. Seven. Treasure. Unit Eight, Recording Two. Speaker One. I work as a nanny, looking after children aged two, three, and five. I'm actually a live-in nanny. I live with the family. I came into the job with my eyes open. I knew it would be hard work because children can be difficult, though of course they're fun too. Also, we work long hours, and too many of us do extra work like cleaning and cooking when we should only look after the children. Nannies, particularly live-in nannies, aren't paid enough. Some of us need two jobs. We should earn enough just from being a nanny because working with children is a really important job. It's like teaching; it affects the future. Speaker two. I'm a firefighter. It's one of the most dangerous jobs that exists. Really, it's too dangerous to be paid so little. People see us relaxed and calm, and maybe we go and rescue a cat from a tree, and people think. Oh, they earn too much. Their job is easy, but when there's a serious fire, we have to be ready, even if it's just once a year. We risk our lives to save people. Sometimes stupid people who fell asleep with a cigarette in their mouth or forgot to switch off the oven. You know, we save people. We save buildings. We save businesses. Anything and everything can burn down, and that's why we're so important. Speaker three. I'm a research biologist. I work on finding solutions to some of the world's major problems, such as disease and hunger. The thing is, it's always difficult to get funding to get enough money to actually do the research. Some of our projects are very expensive; they can cost millions of dollars, and it can take years before you see results. So, actually, I'm not asking for a bigger salary for myself. But I'd like more money for the lab. Too many scientists spend too much time applying for grants, asking for money, rather than actually doing their job in the lab. When things go well for us, the whole world benefits. So I think this work should be better funded. Unit Eight, Recording Three. One. Give up. I gave up my time. Two. Give back. He gave back the money. Three. Take up. It takes up hours of my time. Four. Take over. He took over from his father. Five. Turn down. I turned down the job. Six. Turn into. It turned into a dream job. Unit eight, recording four. Conversation one. Can I help you? No thanks. I'm just looking. Okay. Just let me know if you need anything. Thanks. Conversation two. Hi there. Are you looking for anything in particular? Uh, yeah. Do you sell those things that soldiers wear? Uh, uh, it's like a jacket. Um, a type of jacket. Yeah, a, a light green jacket with lots of pockets. Ah, you mean a flak jacket? Ah,、uh, yes. They're just on your left. Ah,、oh, yes. Thank you. Can I try this on? Of course. Where's the fitting room? Just over there. Oh, thanks.
Conversation three. Excuse me. Do you have one of these in a larger size? It doesn't fit. Is that the large? I'll just go and check for you. I'm sorry. This is all we've got in stock at the moment. There are some other T-shirts over there on the other side. There might be some extra large sizes there. Conversation four. Hello. I was wondering if you've got any of that stuff you use for cleaning swimming pools. Um. Yeah. We usually sell a liquid cleaner. You pour it into the pool. There's one here. Can I have a look? Yep. How much is it?、Uh, this one's twenty-eight pounds ninety-nine for a litre bottle. Conversation five. Hi. Are you paying by cash or credit card? Credit card. Can you enter your PIN, please? Thanks. Here's your card. Thanks. Thank you. Who's next, please? Do you take Mastercard? Yes, that's fine.、Um, can you just sign here, please? Unit eight. Recording five. One. Do you sell pens? Two. Do you have one of these in red? Three. Can I try it on? Four. Can I try these on? Unit eight. Recording six. Our business is called Rag Bags. Our idea is to make beautiful bags out of recycled material, so old jeans and clothes that you would normally throw away. We hope to make money by reusing old material and turning it into different types of bags. All types of bags: shopping bags, beach bags, handbags, whatever you need. So you can either buy one of our ready-made bags, or if you have some material that you really like, we can make one especially for you. To be successful, we need to make sure the bags are really good quality and look wonderful. We don't need a lot of money to start the business because we'll make the bags at home. We plan to sell rag bags at markets, in local shops, and also online. We'll have a website with lots of beautiful photos, where people can choose their designs and colours, and then order their wonderful bag. And the best thing about the company is that you will have an amazing bag made from your own favourite recycled material. Each bag will be unique, one of a kind, and we'll have fun making them too. It's a win-win. Unit nine, nature. Recording one. Hi, and welcome to Green Ideas. Now, the problem with some of the traditional ways of saving the environment is that they can be really boring. So today, we're looking at ideas for protecting the environment that are a bit different, and we think they sound fun. Our first project is called Hug It Forward. This great project started in Guatemala, where communities decided to work together to build schools out of old plastic bottles. In the first project, over 1,800 kids from the region filled 10,000 plastic bottles with bits of plastic, food wrappers, and other rubbish found on the streets. They then used the bottles as bricks to help build a school. By the time they'd finished, they had a new school, and the area was a lot cleaner too. Now the idea is spreading, and around the world, more communities are using the bottle school technology to build their own schools. What a fantastic idea! And here's an idea for those of you who enjoy going out clubbing. The Surya nightclub in London was one of the first eco-friendly nightclubs in the UK. The club has a special dance floor, which uses the movement people make when they dance to generate energy. 
The dancers manage to produce 60% of the energy that the club uses for light and music. The owner of the Eco Club had another great idea. If you walk or cycle to the club rather than using a car or public transport, you get free entry. I love it. And our final idea for today is the story of the Seoul River Park. It's getting more and more difficult to find green spaces in cities. So when Dr. Ki Huang had a crazy idea to take down the city's main highway and uncover the river that flowed below to make a green park, most people thought he was mad. They told him that his idea would create traffic chaos and would be a disaster for the area. But Dr. Huang went ahead with the project and created the 58 kilometer Green River Park. It's a place where the residents of Seoul can walk, relax and really enjoy the city. And you know what? People are happier. And there's a lot less traffic chaos than before. It just shows that sometimes even the craziest ideas can work. Unit 9. Recording 2. 1. Long. Longer. The longest. 2. High. Higher. The highest. 3. Healthy. Healthier. The healthiest. 4. Difficult. More difficult. The most difficult. Unit 9. Recording 3. 1. It's the most beautiful place I've ever been to. 2. It's hotter than I expected. 3. The food is cheaper than at home. 4. It's more dangerous than I thought. Unit 9. Recording 4. 1. I'd like to live in a rural area when I'm older. 2. The north of my country is an area of natural beauty. 3. Where I live, there is a lot of beautiful scenery. 4. I went camping in a national park. 5. We visited the Wildlife Centre. 6. I'd like to visit a tropical rainforest. 7. My country has interesting geographical features. 8. I like being out in the fresh air. Unit 9. Recording 5. 1. I always wanted to be a presenter of nature programmes. 2. I was one of many tourists in South America. 3. A guide met us at the airport. The next day the same guide took us hunting. 4. On the second day, the guide took us to a river. 5. I sometimes make programmes in Britain. 6. In my job, I can explain the natural world to millions of people. 7. I hate insects in general, but especially mosquitoes. 8. I had the camera in my bag. Unit 9. Recording 6. 1. 
I met wonderful people in the Amazon. Two. The birds we saw were amazing. Three. I've got a brilliant idea. Four. We need to put up a tent. Five. We took photos of the beautiful scenery. Unit 9. Recording 7. Uh, why do we use rats after an earthquake? Mm. Uh, I'm not sure. It might be to help find people or other animals. Yeah, they're used to rescue people. They can move in small spaces and they have a good sense of smell so they can find people. Hmm. Why do some prisons use abandoned dogs? Hmm. Let me think. It could be as prison guards. Maybe they use the dogs to guard the prisoners. Actually, no, it can't be that, because they'd be trained dogs, not abandoned dogs. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it says it was a program that started some years ago. Abandoned dogs are taken to prisons, and then the prison inmates take care of them until the dogs are adopted. Oh. Why does the army use dolphins? It's definitely not to attack people, because dolphins are kind of nice. Hmm. <laughs> um, it's hard to say. I really don't know. Dolphins are used to protect areas of water. They can detect swimmers who shouldn't be there. A light is attached to the dolphin's nose. Oh. The dolphin bumps into the swimmer and the light falls off its nose. This tells the army where the swimmer is. Why did airport security plan to use gerbils in the 1970s? Perhaps they can smell drugs or something like that? Mm-hmm. Gerbils can smell people's adrenaline. When someone is excited, scared, or angry, adrenaline is released by the body. The airport security bosses hoped the gerbils would smell terrorists or other criminals in airports. In the end, the idea was abandoned because gerbils didn't know the difference between terrorists and people who were just scared of flying. Uh, why do we use seals for research in the ocean? Uh... That's a good question. It might be because they can live in very cold temperatures. They can dive deep down into freezing water. Scientists can attach research equipment to the seals' bodies. And this doesn't stop the seals from diving and swimming. Unit 9. Recording 8. 1. It could be. It could be you. Two. It might be. It might be us. Three. It can't be. It can't be them. Unit 9. Recording 9. OK, the most beautiful place I've been to. Well... A few years ago, I went to Fish River Canyon. Where? Fish River Canyon. It's the second biggest canyon in the world. After the Grand Canyon? After the Grand Canyon. Where is it? It's in Namibia, in Africa. Wow. And what did you think of it? Oh, it was amazing. The first thing you notice is how big it is, of course. Of course. It just goes on and on as far as your eye can see. But the best thing about it was the silence. Right. Oh, it was so amazingly quiet. We went there in August and there weren't many tourists. And it was just so quiet. Would you like to go back? I would love to go back. One day. <laughs> One day.
Unit 10. Society. Recording 1. 1. It has clean, safe streets. 2. The public transport system is terrible. 3. There's a lot of traffic. 4. It has beautiful buildings. 5. The people are friendly and polite. 6. There's a lot of crime. 7. It's very polluted. 8. There are nice parks and green spaces. 9. It has good shopping and nightlife. 10. There are lots of things to see and do. 11. It's expensive to live there. 12. It's very crowded. Unit 10. Recording 2. Conversation 1. Daniela, so you live in Melbourne, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, Melbourne has been voted one of the best cities to live in for young people. So what do you think? Do you like living in Melbourne? Oh, I love it. Melbourne is a really great city. It's very friendly and fun. Uh, there's lots of things to see and do. Okay, so you can go out a lot. Yeah, it's very arty. There are lots of cafes and street art, music, and the nightlife is really good. People like to enjoy themselves in Melbourne. That's great. And what about getting around? What's the public transport like? Public transport is really good, actually. It's quite cheap and it's efficient. You can go everywhere by tram and sometimes it's even free. Mm. Uh, so what do you like best about living in Melbourne? Uh, I think it's probably the atmosphere. Also, it's a great location. It's really close to some fantastic beaches. So there's surfing. It's got everything, really. It's a great city. Conversation 2 Rick, you've lived in Dubai for, what, four years, right? Yeah, four years. So what's it like living in Dubai? Well, I read that Dubai is one of the world's fastest growing cities. So there are a lot of people and it's very crowded. It's a great city for shopping and going out. And it has a really good nightlife with lots of bars and clubs. Is it a safe city? Yes. There isn't a lot of crime. The streets are very safe. But one of the biggest problems is the traffic. Everyone drives a car here. Petrol is still cheap, so the traffic's terrible. One good thing is the taxis, though. There are lots of them, and they're cheap, so you don't have to drive. Conversation 3 What about Prague? What's Prague like, Matt? I've always loved Prague. I think it's definitely one of the best cities in the world. What do you like best about living in Prague? I think it has to be the city itself. It's so beautiful. It's like the city of your dreams, with beautiful buildings and squares. The old streets are wonderful to walk along. It is full of culture, music, bars, restaurants. What about the weather? What's the weather like in Prague? <laughs> yeah, OK, when I arrived in Prague, it was minus seven degrees. So obviously, it gets very cold in the winter, and there is a lot of snow. But in the summer, the sun shines and you can sit outside in the cafes or walk up to the castle. It's a very special city and the people are so friendly. Unit 10. Recording 3. 1. I've never been to Madrid. What's it like? It's a lovely city. There's a great atmosphere and the people are really friendly. What's it like? 2. Do you like living in Moscow? I love it. 
It's one of the best cities in the world. Do you like living in Moscow? Three. What's your new flat like? It's very small, but it's near the city centre. What's your new flat like? Four. What do you like best about living in Rome? The food. I love Italian food. What do you like best about living in Rome? Unit 10. Recording 4. 1. He was sent home. 2. It was eaten. 3. They were caught. 4. They were stopped. Unit 10. Recording 5. Conversation 1. Oh, hello. Uh, could you help me? There's a problem with the air conditioning. Oh, yes. I've just tried to switch it on, but it doesn't work. Is it completely dead? Completely. Absolutely nothing. OK. We'll look into it right away. I'll send someone up. It'll be about five minutes, OK? Thanks. You're welcome. I'm sorry about that. Conversation 2 I'm afraid I have a complaint. Could I speak to the manager, please? Uh, yes, of course. Good evening, sir. I understand there's a problem. Yes, I'm afraid I have a complaint. Oh? Well, we got here at 8, and then we waited about 20 minutes for a table. Right. This is for a table we booked for 8, okay? Then we waited another hour for our meal. Right. One hour. Then, when the bill arrived, they put this extra charge on it. An extra charge? That's probably the service charge. <sighs> well, could you check this for me, please? Yes, that's service. Well, to be honest, I don't want to pay this. Of course not. Well, sir, I am really sorry about that. It's a very busy time of year. Conversation 3 The 8.32 to Cambridge has been delayed. We apologize for any inconvenience caused. Excuse me? Do you work here? Yes. Do you know when the next train will be arriving? I mean, I've been here for over an hour. I'm sorry, but there's nothing we can do at the moment. Everything is delayed. And you don't know when the next train is coming? No. Or why there's a delay? Snow. What? Snow on the track. It was the wrong type of snow. <laughs> what do you mean, the wrong type of snow? You're kidding, right? Unit 10. Recording 6. 1. Could you help me? 2. I'm afraid I have a complaint. 3. Excuse me, could I speak to the manager? Unit 10. Recording 7. One. Uh, one thing that really annoys me is the fact that we import so much food from overseas rather than growing our own food here in this country. So you go to the supermarket and you can buy strawberries in the middle of winter. And I suppose that's OK. But uh, then you try to buy an apple and the apples are from New Zealand. And you think, well, that's just crazy. I mean, I don't understand why we need to fly apples all over the world when we could just grow them here in this country. It really makes me angry. It would be so much better for the environment if people bought food locally. So uh, I'd like to start a campaign to encourage people to buy and eat local food. Um, perhaps I could start a website or publish articles in newspapers to try to get people to stop buying food that comes from all over the world. 
two. I get really fed up with the fact that there is nothing for teenagers to do in this town. I just think it's really difficult because people complain that teenagers are just on the streets, causing problems. But actually, there isn't really anywhere else for them to go. There are no sports facilities or clubs where they can spend time together and have some fun. And another thing is, we get a lot of crime because there are too many bored teenagers around. I'd like to raise money to build sports centers and youth clubs where teenagers can go to enjoy themselves or do sports or learn something. I think there should be more things for teenagers to do and they should be better and cheaper. Unit 11. Technology. Recording 1. 1. I use my phone for everything. I text most of the time because it's quick and cheap. So I text my friends and my boyfriend. I like texts because they're quiet. Nobody knows what you're saying. My mum used to call me all the time to check that I'm OK. But now she can text me, which is much better. I get really annoyed when you're talking to someone, though, and they're texting someone else. I think that's really rude. 2. I use the internet a lot. I use Skype to keep in touch with my family because my daughter lives in France, so I don't see her very often and the phone is expensive. With the internet, I can see my grandchildren. It's wonderful. My son sets up the computer for me. I haven't learnt how to do that yet. And sometimes it crashes during the phone call, which is annoying, or I can't see the picture properly, but usually it's fine. Generally, I think technology is wonderful. When I was younger, we only dreamed of having video phone calls, but now it's possible and it's free. 3. We use a blog. It's a great way to tell people about your travel experiences. We've been to so many places already and it's nice to tell people about them. And you can put photos there of the people you meet and the places you visit. The best thing is that as soon as you write the blog, people all over the world can read it. The only problem we have is when we can't find an internet cafe. 4. I've just started to use networking sites like Facebook. I found some friends I haven't seen for years and it was great to get in touch again. The only problem is that I keep checking it when I should be working. Unit 11. Recording 2. 1. I've been there already. 2. I haven't met her yet. 3. We've just seen a film. 4. They've already gone. 5. We haven't finished yet. 6. He's just spoken to her. Unit 11. Recording 3. 1. If you give me your details, I'll send you the photo. 2. If people sign the petition, the company will have to respond. 3. When your friends see the video, they won't be surprised. 4. If the situation gets worse, will you leave your job? 5. If there aren't elections soon, people will start protesting. 6. When you see this picture, I'll be in the Canaries. 7. If the product is really good, then people won't write bad reviews. 8. If they change the design, will you buy one? Unit 11. Recording 4. 1. Oh, I'll send you the photo. If you give me your details, I'll send you the photo.
too. Oh, the company will have to respond. If people sign the petition, the company will have to respond. Three. Won't. They won't be surprised. When your friends see the video, they won't be surprised. Four. Will. Will you leave your job? If the situation gets worse, will you leave your job? Five. Will. People will start protesting. If there aren't elections soon, people will start protesting. Six. Oh, I'll be in the Canaries. When you see this picture, I'll be in the Canaries. Seven. Won't. People won't write bad reviews. If the product is really good, then people won't write bad reviews. Eight. Will. Will you buy one? If they change the design, will you buy one? Unit Eleven, Recording Five. I use the internet all day at work, and I still get my work done. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry, but I really don't see what the problem is.、Mm, I think the problem is that lots of workers spend all day surfing the internet and wasting their time instead of doing their work.、Mm. And students at university are failing their degrees because they spend all their time checking Facebook and watching videos that friends send them. Yes, that's true, but、um, I don't think. You know, I don't think that the problem is the internet. You know, I think the problem is with the websites like Facebook. Yeah, definitely, like、uh, YouTube. Some companies and universities stop you from using certain websites, and in my opinion, that's okay. But it's so easy to waste time. I don't think you should use the internet when you're trying to work, unless you need it for your work for research or something. I'm not sure about that. Going on the internet sometimes gives you a break. It's like having a cup of coffee or talking to someone in the office. People should use the internet as much as they like. I don't think so. Yes, that's right. I think it's good. I run a small business, and my staff use the internet as much as they want to. I don't check what they're doing. They do all their work, and they're happy. I don't think it's a waste of time at all. It's the same as going to a bookshop no, or looking through a pile of magazines. I'm, I'm afraid I totally disagree. The problem is that people are addicts. People aren't addicted to reading books, but the internet is different. People spend too much time in front of their computer or their phone. They choose the internet over sports and going out. They forget how to live in the real world, and I think it's a real problem. Unit Eleven, Recording Six. Yes, that's right. I think it's good. Yes, that's true. I'm afraid I totally disagree. I'm not sure about that. I think it's good. I don't think it's a waste of time at all. Unit Eleven, Recording Seven. One. I'm sorry, but I really don't see what the problem is. I really don't see what the problem is. Two. I disagree. I'm not sure about that. Three. I don't think it's a waste of time at all.
It's not a waste of time. Four. That's true, but I don't think the problem is the internet. The problem is not using the internet. Five. I totally disagree. I'm afraid I totally disagree. Unit 11. Recording 8. 1. OK. Smartphone. That's essential. I love it. I use it all the time for everything. I talk to people, chat, text, take photos. I couldn't live without my phone. Microwave. That's essential. I don't have lots of time for cooking, so I use the microwave a lot. Television. Not essential. I don't watch much television. DVD player. No, not essential. Digital camera. Not essential. I, I use my phone. So what else? Uh, laptop. That's essential, really. I use my laptop for work, so yes, I need that. Tablet. Mm, I guess it's not essential. Two. Which are essential, all of them. <laughs> Goodness. Right. Uh, smartphone, essential. I don't go anywhere without my phone. I need it in case there's an emergency and I have to call someone or if there's a problem with one of the children. Yes, I definitely need my phone. Uh, TV? That's essential, really. I couldn't live without my television and DVD player. Um, laptop? Well, I need a computer, really, so yes, that's essential. Tablet? Well, no, that's not essential. Digital camera? I suppose I don't need that. Someone else can take the photos. Uh, what else? Microwave? No, I can live without that. Unit 12. Fame. Recording 1. He told me he was an actor. He told me he was an actor. He told me he was an actor. Unit 12. Recording 2. He told me he was an actor, not a dancer. He told me he was an actor, but he told John he was a doctor. He told me he was an actor, but his wife said he was a waiter. Unit 12. Recording 3. Successful. Helpful. Wonderful. Famous. Adventurous. Dangerous. Invention. Celebration. Celebrity. Popularity. Footballer. Photographer. Actor. Musician. Politician. Unit 12. Recording 4. 1. If I could be famous for anything, it would be art. I love painting, and if I had more time, I would love to paint seriously. If I could have a painting in a museum, I'd be really happy. 2. I'd be a famous politician. If I was a politician, I would try to change the world, to stop all these wars and do something to help poor countries. You know... I think it's terrible how most politicians don't seem to worry about things like that. 3. If I could do anything, um, I think I'd be a famous footballer or something like that. 
Imagine if you scored a goal for your country in the World Cup. That would be such a good feeling. You'd remember something like that forever. 4. I'd love to sing. If I could be famous for anything, I think I'd be a singer. Or a dancer. I'd love to be a famous dancer. I'm terrible at both of those things. I can't sing or dance. I guess that's why we have dreams, isn't it? 5. I would love to be a famous writer or poet like Shakespeare. I think it's a wonderful thing to be able to write a book that people all around the world want to read. To be able to speak to people in that way. Yes, I'd like to be remembered as a great writer. But I don't think that'll happen. 6. If I could be famous for anything. Well, let me see. Oh, for being beautiful. That would be good. One of those beautiful actresses who wins at the Oscars. If I was famous, I would be rich, live in a big house and have all those clothes. Oh, yes, that would be nice. 7. If I could be famous for anything, it would be for inventing something like like a medicine or a cure for cancer. Not for being an actor or a musician. If I invented something that made people's lives better, that would be good. 8. What would I want to be famous for? Hmm. I wouldn't like to be famous. If I was famous, I wouldn't be happy. No, I prefer just being me, thank you. Unit 12. Recording 5. Conversation 1. Hello. Hello. How can I help you? I'd like to go to a local restaurant. Maybe something with traditional food? Could you recommend somewhere? Yes, of course. Hang on. Uh, we have a list on a map. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so here's the hotel. And if you want to walk, you can go to this one here. Okay. This is a reasonably priced restaurant which serves mainly... Conversation 2. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. What can I do for you? I read that there's a local market in the area. Is it a food... The food market? Yes. Uh, it's a bit of a walk. Maybe 30 minutes. Oh, that far? Would you like me to call a taxi? It's about a five-minute drive. That would be wonderful. OK, just a moment. I'll see if there's one waiting. Thank you very much. Conversation 3 Good morning. Morning. I forgot my adapter for the laptop. It's from the United States. Would it be possible to borrow one from the hotel? An adapter plug, of course. Do you want me to send one up to your room? Yes, please. Can you give me a moment? I'll ask at the desk. It's just for a laptop. Yeah, that's right. A US laptop. I just forgot the adapter. OK, no problem. What's your room number? 14. Room 14, OK. Thanks a lot. Conversation 4. Hello. Hello. How can I help you? I want to see a show this evening. Uh, cats. Oh, yes. Uh, cats. Would you be able to book two tickets for us? Hold on. Let me just check where it's playing. OK, here we are. Uh, yes, shall I book the tickets for you? Do you have any preference about the seats? Mm, any seats. Two together. Two together, yes. OK, and it starts at seven o'clock. So you should have plenty of time, and if you'll just wait here while I... Unit 12. Recording 6. Could you recommend a restaurant? Would you be able to book a table for me? Would it be possible to rent a car? Could you recommend somewhere to visit? Unit 12. Recording 7. I grew up by the sea. My father and my uncle are fishermen, and as a child, I used to spend all my time on the beach. Every morning, I watched the fishermen come in with their nets full of fish. 
and these men seemed so free and happy. So I had this idea that I wanted to work on a boat. But the problem was, it was a very male profession. Only men did it. And fishermen didn't accept that women could go fishing. They thought we should stay at home and clean the house, do the cooking, have babies. I always asked my father to go on the boat with him, and he always said, no, stay at home and help your mother. Anyway, it's a long story. But eventually, I became a cleaner in a hotel, and then one day, I had the chance to work as a cleaner on a ship. One of the big cruise ships. It's a great job, and I've done it for the past six years. It's a dream come true, because I spend a lot of time at sea. My next dream is to have a houseboat and actually live on the water. We'll see. I can make it happen.